Tuck. And what you see here with this patient very nice. is, is a very smooth, natural looking result. It looks like she lost a lot of weight. There are no contour abnormalities here, no, no dimples or lumps or bumps. And what she has is a significantly improved waistline. Uh, extremely happy. Now that's a huge uh, difference. Absolutely, and for this. her it was a life changing uh, difference. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Um, here's a woman who basically, you know, had kids you know, and is finally uh, wanting to do something for herself. You know, uh, she, she worked very hard, did not devote a lot of time for herself, and now she wanted to do something to give herself something back, almost like a reward. Is this common? This, this is very common. It's a lot more common than you might think, but you wouldn't know it because this patient and patients like her wear loose clothes that are not form-fitting because they're very self-conscious about how they look. But after having surgery, you know, you'd be surprised at how the wardrobes change. Now, I've been told the problem with the tummy tuck, though, is the belly button. You know, it, it is a problem. I've seen results that are, are less than optimal, but it's not a problem that I have in my practice. If you look at this patient, very natural looking belly buttons with no stitch marks or you any wouldn't know she had anything. Scar. Where'd you hide the scar, That's by the way, this tummy well, tuck? The scar is right there. It's out in the open. I take all my, my post-operative pictures without concealing my scars because I want it's not touched up. Absolutely Honestly. not. And I want okay. my patients to know what they can expect. Now, if you're, if you're healthy and you don't have any healing issues that are a result of uh, your genetics, your particular skin type, you should expect to have a nice scar. Now, we were sitting in the green room and we were talking about a, a thin celebrity. Absolutely. And I said, you, if you do thin people, you're going to get the bumps, I said it, to you. And you that's said, absolutely not true. I mean, it's all a result of judgment and technique. You know, there is a certain amount of fat you must leave under the skin achieve smoothness you know and you, you also have to be very responsible and very prudent with how you do this procedure if you're too aggressive you will get lumps and bumps whether the patient is heavier or very thin you know there's some so patients it's not a straightforward procedure I mean it seems uh, like you're just going it, in and this is fat. not this is not a cookie cutter procedure you know you have to really uh, tailor this to each patient you know and the, the examples I'll show you or demonstrate that no two patients are the same now what about doing lipo and tummy tuck together. Can and that be dangerous? Not if it's done responsibly. There are guidelines that, you know, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons that we follow in terms of safety with respect to the areas that you can and or should not liposuck okay. with a tummy tuck. So with the national problems that you hear about mm -hmm. that made the press, were those, in your opinion, not responsible? Uh, usually problems. results of bad judgment. Bad judgment on the surgeon's mm -hmm. part. Now what about the, that, that, that thing right there? Oh, that yeah, is the I, I just brought this along. This is a, a sample of a uh, Byron uh, liposuction cannula. It's a three millimeter cannula. And this is a, uh, what some might call this a micro cannula. It's a little bit large. Uh, with respect to that, but so the, this is where you're actually sucking the fat, right? Exactly. This is what we actually use to to aspirate or suck the fat and the tumescent fluid out in these certain areas. Now, these instruments are like carpenter's instruments. You know, uh, you, you're you're only as good as your ability. But if you don't have superb instruments like this one, you'll, you'll be limited at uh, in terms of the results you can get. Now, terms like power-assisted cannula. Correct. Is that power assisted? No, this is actually a cannula. This is a very traditional, uh, old school style uh, cannula that, that I use. And Why? It's the only, I use it because it's a little bit harder for me, but it allows me to have greater control over my results and what I'm working on. I, I, I can't, I'm limited by this in terms of how quickly I can work. And as a result of that... So there's I, bigger cannulas. In absolutely. This. But you know what? I, I won't get... Uh, accidentally get contour problems or uh, areas that are overdone with this I can control it I can take my time and get a superb contour and excellent very very uh, satisfying result by using this technique. We're gonna take a quick break we come back more photos and in the process what somebody can expect when they sure. go in. You're watching the Wellness Hour leader in medical news and information I'm Randy Alvarez we are here with Las Vegas's most popular plastic surgeon Dr. Style we're talking about what you need to know if you're considering liposuction we'll be right back.